Hello there. Welcome to Chandu.org. In this short video, I want to give you a very interesting, very powerful and yet really, really simple uh, to implement tip on dashboards. What you see on the screen is is a customer service dashboard. I'm sure some of you would have seen this on Chandu.org uh, discussed uh, several months ago. Well, what I want to do is I don't want to tell you how this dashboard is made because that's not what this video is about. But I want to tell you the kind of philosophy that I always follow when I'm designing dashboards that are like this. Whenever I want to create something that is uh, conveying a lot of information and providing a lot of insight for insights and useful data for decision makers, I always approach it by breaking my dashboards into three different buckets. They are called as data, calculations, and dashboard. Okay. Now you might be wondering why why bother doing it like this? Why not just put everything in one place like an output, or why not just put it into two different buckets? So let me explain this by creating a blank file. In each dashboard, you could really visualize this dashboard as a collection of three different problems. When you want to create a dashboard, what is it that we wanted? We wanted to create something that looks nice and beautiful, but also conveys a lot of useful information to the decision makers or um, people who need to know what is going on, right? So this is the, the number one problem is what I call as output problem. That means we need to make it look good and convey better information. This is the output problem. The second problem when we are creating this output is you're always wondering where the data for this is. Where do I get all the numbers for this this output? So this is called as a data problem. Now once you have the data and once you know what kind of output to generate then comes the problem of transformation. That is how do you take this raw data the raw data of hundreds and thousands of rows of information and somehow transform it so that it looks like output, right? This is called transformation problem. Now these are real world terms, right? This is what we are using in plain English to describe what we need, what we want to do. What is the analogous terms for Excel? In Excel, when, when we are talking about output problem, in Excel, that's that would be a dashboard, isn't it? Likewise, when we are talking about data in Excel, that's just data. When we are talking about transforming, oh, why do this keep coming up? And in Excel, when we are talking about transformation, that is taking the raw data and moving it into some other format, the tools and ideas that helps uh, help us are calculations. These can be like uh, you know, formulas, pivot tables, or simple macros, or any of those things. But all they are really doing is they're calculating things for us. Okay, so this is the three different things, three different problems. So by naturally breaking our dashboard into three different buckets: dashboards, data, output, and calculations. Uh, output means dashboard here. Uh, you would save a lot of time because you would really be focusing on individual problems okay many people what they do is they try to create the output on the same page where data is this is this is like saying i'm going to use uh, same 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 place for both cleaning my dishes and taking my shower that's not going to work these these two are two different things so you really want to separate them out figured out the uh, thing for that okay so this is how you want to separate it out as well in your dashboard in your dashboard workbooks always start by creating these three different worksheets one of them is uh, data the other is calculations and the final one is output in in your data worksheet your problems will be more like where do I get the data how do I structure this data how often should I refresh this data what kind of uh, tables or named ranges or any of those things should I set up here so that my data looks better? So those are your problems. 
in in the calculation stage your problems are different you're wondering about hey whether should i use uh, some ifs formula or some product formula or maybe just a pivot table to calculate these things so that's what your calculation problems are also in your calculation stage you will be having other problems like uh, what is the fastest way to calculate this particular number or what is the Mm, is there a way I can uh, calculate and store them as values or how do I protect my calculations so that nobody would come and mess with them and change them or accidentally delete them so these are your different problems they are not same as that data problems finally when it comes to output the final dashboard your problems are entirely different you are worried about what font should I use what kind of color scheme should I use what kind of different charts should I use how do I structure my dashboard uh, whether to present this information or that information how do I provide some interactivity should I use a slicer or a or a scroll bar or a option button or a hyperlink or something else should I use VBA to animate things these are your problems so in each place you are dealing with different problems by separating them and to separate individual worksheet tabs you can focus better you would create something that is easy now that's not the only reason why I break these dashboards into separate buckets the other reason is dashboards are like living organisms right people would be looking at for example you make this customer service dashboard and your CEO would be looking at this and then he or she would be like hey can we have um, not the average call duration but median call duration here so it says 75 seconds is the average call duration for our calls now she wants to see the median call duration so you can see that this is coming up from F39 of the calculations sheet so you would probably go to F39 and then you would see that this is doing some sort of rounding and dividing which will yield to an average so you would change that particular calculation so that it would do a median calculation instead of the average calculation and instantly once you change the numbers here the output gets changed so that means anytime any changes are requested in in the output you can easily accommodate them thanks to the idea of separating because now things are separated from one another and loosely coupled you will always be able to change things very easily without impacting a lot of drastic changes in your output or in, in your data or in, in your calculations so that's the second reason the first reason is it helps you focus and work on problems in isolation the second reason is it it is it this structure of having multiple buckets for each is is easy to work with when there are changes which is the case all the time there is a third reason too when you break it like this anybody can understand your dashboard very easily okay so that's that then the fourth reason is also very important is that most of the time you would be generating different dashboards from the same type of data your data would more or less be the same but you you are generating a sales dashboard or a service dashboard or an operations dashboard but most of the time the data is just those very very same numbers so with this structure all you have to do is you could create one more dashboard and you could reuse as many calculations as possible okay wherever you cannot reuse you would you would do go ahead and calculate those extra numbers so this structure of breaking things will also help you build different outputs from the same data or same set of calculations so that's that's also another good good use for me so this is uh, these are the main reasons why you would always want to break your output uh, dashboards into three different buckets and structure okay so go ahead and implement this idea in your next dashboard exercise at work and come back and tell me how you feel about this new structure and how much time and how much energy you're able to save because of because of the way you're structuring your output better thank you so much for your time and attention and i hope you have enjoyed this short video and i hope to share more such useful information with you in our blog as well as in the upcoming power pivot and excel school programs that we are opening on august 1st thank you so much and you have a fantastic day ahead bye bye